Liz, where are you from originally? Uh, California, born and raised. Come on, Cali. All right, so I want you to share with our audience today here in person and also online what your life was like before Jesus. Uh, before Jesus, um, I knew who God was. I just, uh, if I went to church, it would be like three times a year and that would be it. Uh, I would cuss, I would listen to regular music, um, just the regular worldly things. So I didn't have Jesus in my life. You mentioned that just about a year ago, you and, well, a few years ago, you and your sister moved out to Tri-Cities. But a year ago, you have an older sister and you look up to her and that older sister, she really encourages you to follow her after her steps. And so tell us a little bit about what happened about 365 days ago last year. Um, she started seeking God like um, in 2020 and um, she would watch Elevation Church and I just I started watching it with her but I kind of like stopped because I felt like if I gave my life to Jesus like my life was going to end like I wasn't going to be able to do this do that and it just made me do that come to that little stop and then um, in 2022 She's like, hey, well, I want to learn how to read the Bible. And I was like, well, if you want to go for it, I'll, I'm with you. So we asked Gloria Nakwa, the one that invited us to this church. And I, I'm so thankful for her um, because the first time that I came to this church, I felt the Holy Spirit. At the moment, I didn't know what it was, but it was like really anointed. Like I just felt like crying. So I just started crying for no reason. And it was just like, what is going on? But... So Gloria invited you to church and she began to introduce you to other people. What are some of the things that you decided to do uh, to grow in your spiritual life? Um, she, well, when we went to her house, um, we did a, a Pastor Vlad school. We did an e-course and then she invited us to Daniela's life group. So that's how we met Daniela. And um, we were not baptized. We were not delivered. We didn't, we, we were just started to crawl basically. And um, thanks to that live group, we got more information, more knowledge. Um, Daniela encouraged us to pray, even though we, I still feel I don't know how to pray, but she's like, just go for it. You know, God is with you and he's going to help you overcome any obstacle. So we started praying. Um, we learned about the Holy Spirit, like every little thing, thanks to that live group and them girls that are so knowledgeable and gave us that information. We are so thankful for that. Amen. Who gives thanks for the home groups and the small groups that they're in? Jesus really knows how to do his work in those groups. And so just like an onion, every human has layers. And so as you began to seek the Lord and as you began to pull back the layer of learning more about the Holy Spirit and deliverance. So uh, back in August you, or September, you came to a deliverance Sunday. Tell us what happened. What happened in that moment? Um, well, prior to the deliverance, um, we did a Daniel fast, and it was the hardest thing I ever had done. And um, now the 21 water fast is nothing compared to that Daniel fast. So. Come on, somebody say. You can tell you're still fasting. Come on, somebody. Um, then um, we went to the, the Friday for deliverance. I got delivered from jealousy. I was tormented with that jealousy. It was just like constant. And even though I would come, I would pray, um, it still didn't go until that day. It was just like after that, it was just happiness and peace and joy all that time. After when I got up because on my deliverance, I fell down. I was just smiling and I was like, I, I feel like I look so dumb. And I would just cover my mouth because I didn't want, you know, because I didn't know. I didn't know what it was. And then on that Sunday, Pastor Vlad, um, prayed for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and I um, started praying in tongues. Come on, come on. I know that also you were going through a lot of pain. There was a pain that you had for some time. Tell us about that pain and what happened. Well, on the third Sunday of us coming to the church, we were not able to come, but we were, we decided to watch it online. And like what you guys saw right now, Pastor Ricard was the one that was praying for the, on that day. And they said, put your hand wherever your pain is at. And I did. I received the prayer. And I went about my day, the pain lesson. And then, like, I got, after two days, my sisters are like, hey, Liz, like, what about that pain you were feeling? And I was like, what pain? What are you talking about? And I had totally forgotten. And I just 
prayed God, I, th- I praised God that day that I'm like, you're so powerful that you could go through a screen. Because there's a lot of people that don't believe in that. They're like, how could they do anything through a screen? But the people in this house, is, they're so anointed that God is everywhere and touches everyone. Come on. So those of you watching, you get ready because your healing is coming. Your deliverance is coming. And so the last thing I want to ask you uh, is what would you tell someone that is, has gone through your similar situation, growing up in a Catholic home, um, not really knowing, but then coming to a church, going through healing, connecting with people, going through deliverance? What would you tell that person that's very similarly going through your same footsteps? What would you tell that person? To just let God in your life, in your heart. And the Holy Spirit works wonders. Um, I was a type of person that I would always tell everybody, oh, I listen to every type of music except for gospel. Uh, that's what I always, I was since I was small. And I was so proud of saying that, you know. But whenever I gave my life to Christ, the Holy Spirit just took everything off. I didn't even, I, didn't, I don't even think, I didn't even think about missing the music, missing the TV, the movies. It's just by itself it's so powerful you don't even notice the changes he makes in you come on somebody come on somebody pop quiz pop quiz what type of music you listen to worship music come on somebody give a round of applause for liz